Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Today I'm going to be making some sugar cookies. So in my large mixing bowl I have one cup of softened butter. That equals two sticks. In this bowl I have two and three-fourths cup of all-purpose flour along with a teaspoon of baking soda and a half teaspoon of baking powder. I also have one and a half cups of white granulated sugar and then I have one egg and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So uh, my butter is at room temperature so I'm going to cream that up just a little bit. And I'm not using unsalted butter, this is just regular butter. Okay, I've added my sugar to my butter and now I'm going to cream this. Now that my uh, butter and sugar is creamed, I'm going to add my one egg and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm going to blend that in real good. Now with my flour, baking soda, and baking powder mixture, I'm just going to whisk that together to mix that in real good. And I'm going to gradually add this into the butter mixture. And just gradually add it in because you don't want flour going everywhere. And the last little bit you might want to mix in by hand because this is a pretty stiff dough. Alright, I have my oven preheated to 375 degrees and you need to bake these on an ungreased cookie sheet but I do have mine lined with parchment paper. I have me a small scoop, but you can also use a spoon just to scoop it out and roll it into little balls. And you can just put it on your baking sheet like that. Or if you want to, you can roll it in some just some white sugar. And just place them apart a few inches apart because they will spread. So I'm gonna make half of these plain. And in the other half, I'm going to put some uh, chocolate chips in them. So as soon as I get this one pan done, I'll be right back. All right, I've got this pan that I'm just doing the plain sugar cookies. And now I'm going to mix some chocolate chips and white chocolate chips in with the rest of them. So I'll be back. All right, here's my other part of the dough. And you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to add some uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips. It's about a half a cup. And I'm going to add some white chocolate chips too. About equal amounts. I'm just going to mix these in. Then I'll be back. And it's just the same thing, just scoop them out. Spread them out a few inches apart because they will spread. And I'll be back. Alright, I'm going to place my cookies in the oven in my preheated 375 degree oven for 8 to 10 minutes or until they're lightly golden brown. And we'll be back. While my cookies are in the oven baking, I have this much dough left, and I don't want to cook all of it. So I've got a pan and a sheet of wax paper, so I went ahead and scooped the remaining cookie dough out. I'm going to place these in my freezer just like this to flash freeze them, and it'll take about an hour, an hour and a half, maybe a couple of hours, but then I'll put them in a Ziploc bag, and I'll label them. And then when we get ready for some cookies, we'll have some in the freezer that we can just pop out, put on a pan, and bake. So I'll be back when my other cookies get done. All right, I took my cookies out of the oven, and I let them sit in the pan for a few minutes. And then now I've got them removed to a wire rack to cool. So when they've cooled for a few minutes, we'll be back to try one. These are more cool than these, huh? <laughs> because I let them cook a couple of more minutes. 
So we'll take a look at this one. These are the ones that are plain and that I rolled in sugar. Very moist, kind of spongy. Mmm. Those are very good. I like that sugar on the outside of them. Alright, let's look at one of these. See, I love chocolate chips. These are real good. So I hope you enjoy. And also, if you like this video and my other videos, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate it. And uh, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. But I hope y'all have a great day, and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye. I'm back to show you the cookies that I put in the freezer. These ain't even been in there maybe 35, 40 minutes. And they're firm to the touch, so that way I know they won't stick together in this bag. So I have my bag labeled with the date on it. So now I'll just put these down in my uh, bag, seal them up real good, and I'll stick them in my freezer. And then that way, when we get to wanting some uh, cookies, we can take them out, set them on the pan. By the time our oven gets preheated, they would have done been thawed some. So I'll probably never get to show you on camera what these taste like and everything when I pull them out of the freezer to eat them at a later date because when my nephew sees this video he's gonna come over here and grab these up so maybe we'll get him to do a review but I hope you enjoy bye y'all